me? Uh, more than enough, more than enough. Well, I'm uh, putting everything together. <laughs> yes, I. Now, you, uh, I'm glad you're in control of those things. Yeah, I am. Of, 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. That's a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a nuisance. But that's that's um, Willie saying that. But I'll ring Bundy to see whether I need to come back because that's uh, that's for the government. That's for the Georgie oh. Georgie job and them are coming up. But I still need to keep them in line uh, yes. with what they do. To don't don't uh, don't think that. We have to go to them for for the king's bench court is fitting into them and their no. government. Uh, we have our own government deal straight to, right. to Britain, but I've got to keep you separate from everybody with uh, Manukau's title. <coughs> they have to know that, uh, but I think they do. I think they've got an understanding of it because, like Danny says, oh, it's everybody. Not really. It's just one fellow that signed the thing. Uh, the uh, the, you know, the contract for everything. And it 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 had it's got more tentacles to it than just a hapu. <laughs> it's, it's got it's got the Freemasons to to whop anybody out of the road if they if they interfere with it. You see, the the the, the Freemasons are, are are different to the the Queen and the, and the monarchy, but they they are the the keepers of all the documents. You see, and they're right there with Te Waikato in the magistrate, and the uh, and the Freemasons right there with the Holy Grail underneath the Saint Mary's Church in Edinburgh. Everything's in Edinburgh. All that, all that, like the native title, and the the Holy Grail is buried underneath the Saint Mary's Church there. You see, I've searched it all out. So that's us. The wealth is there, and it goes from there to Dutch to uh, to the Caribbean. All, 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 all that Dutch stuff is King William, you see, and and that just separates everybody. It's just the way it was fashioned on the documents, and one one native, one native, one native for all natives. <laughs> so so because because the Manukau never told the other Manukaus how it works, it's a contract. It's a contract between now me, you, and the Freemasons in Helensville in Owen all Bank. You see, it's still there. It's still there. That's why. I, that's why I went to fish it out of the main office in Ellerslie, the, the Freemasons' office in Ellerslie, because I really thought I'd be dealing with things at Helensville, but they've transferred the thing to. Are you there? Hello? Oh, you're gone. No, no, I'm here. Oh, oh, you're there. I thought you had gone. Yeah, they've transferred the main uh, business to Ellerslie as the main office for the for the New Zealand. Freemasons, and and that's our that's our department, just just separate from everybody else. Yes, right. Yeah, so I've got to keep you right there. Bun, Bundy's behind, but he's the hungry hacker with the musket. That's right. It's yeah. got no legal documents. No. All the legal documents are tied up with that Freemasons in the Bank and the magistrate in Hawaroa in uh, Helensville. Yeah, right. You see, so they don't know that side of the. Tentacle. <laughs> and as, as as far as I'm concerned, oh no, this is what this is what Willie said to me last night. He said Puruho says I should not go to England. That's none of his business. That's, he's frightening. He's trying to frighten me with his church bits. You see, with the, with what he's saying that I need protection and all of this and all. This. I should have been over there now. Not hanging around here talking to these fellows. They don't know anything about it. They, they don't know how it works because I know I know if, uh, uh, there's someone watching me from that end. But uh, I I just said I'll get the British. We'll we'll, we'll sort the British out. Me, you, and uh, Bundy and uh, and Hedewini. We sort the British out to come here and get us and to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Before we go anywhere, we're not going to go without protection of that nature. Um, uh, outside of that, because they are obligated to us. The, the, the British are obligated to us to to um, look after us, as as still still uh, uh, call on. If all else justice fails, we go there. That, that's what's happened. The justice has failed on me and us. It's it's yeah. too corrupted to to try and handle a case this big. You see? 
that's why they've got that uh, High Court of Admiralty in London, where these two-hour cases are like things like this. If they can't handle in the appeal appeal court, they go to the Privy Council. So this lot right. here, this right. lot here, got rid of it, so that you can't. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, they, they, they kept it all to themselves, but they can't stop us going straight to the magistrate court. <laughs> they didn't know that, yeah. and they shut the magistrate court down in Auckland too, and they. they they're selling all the things as apartments. Yeah. The magistrate court is partners, so uh, they put it into the high court so they can control it uh, over here. But uh, yeah. but, but that's um, um, I, I, I thought about not going up, but um, because I need every minute. Uh, that's I, right. I, I need every minute because I'm I'm going through all the videos and everything, and get out of the way. Then I've got to do the notice to John Key today. You see, I'm leaving it late to, to, to put, put the seven day notice out. I haven't even done it yet because of all these, too many things yeah. have come in my path. Uh, too, so, many, too, yeah, too many hui. Yeah, yeah too many hui and they, yeah. they are learning something that's yeah. drumming in their head and they're still saying, oh, I'm not too sure, you know? Oh, yeah, like yeah. Willie, he's still half, half cocked. He doesn't, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he oh. says, oh, we'll have Poroho a meeting up there, and just like off the cuff, you know? Yes. And then I don't like the way the way they arrange things because it's it's fairy fairy. Even the Marae in, in um, Tonga Waka, he, as long as he got that bit right, it's a koha, not a not a pay. So he's he, he's coming to that side of it. But as far as arranging it, I've got it still still arranged. So uh, so we're right with that. We're we're right with that because he'll cover the the koha bit. Like yeah, whatever that. Yeah, we just give it. Put, put, put the kai in, uh, in the marae. Yeah, in the marae. Uh, see, um, yeah. um, that's why right. we, we, we can sort that out when we get there. Uh, uh, there's a suggestion because yeah. the bus gets here at quarter past twelve, eh? No, eleven. Oh, like the that's like right. like like yeah. the last time. That's the same bus. Yeah. It gets no no. It gets it stops on that side. That's where it always stops. When we went when we went yeah. south, when we went past it, it swung across right. the other side of the road. It swung across them to their park again from going from Pai here, so it, it does stop them. So if I, if you cut, if you, it's just a suggestion you come on, on Thursday and I'll pick you up instead of, instead of Wednesday. Oh, yeah, 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 that's better because they're always at one o'clock. Yeah. The whole, the, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll come on plenty. Thursday. So that means plenty I, time. yeah, plenty of time. And yeah. so, uh, so all I needed to do was to get back to, to the bus again. And, and yes, if, if if I stayed at Porterhouse uh, and I got a ride from there, oh, Morris will always take me anyway. He said, well, anywhere you want to pick up, we'll to go and pick you up. Uh, but anyway, we'll, 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 we'll see about that. I think, we yeah. go, I think we go to it just to solidify that seven days from today till that day, the 21st. That's right. And then I'll, right. I'll, I'll outline the, the, the writ warrant uh, in Auckland on a seven-day notice on, on John Key. So that they're, right. they're fully aware when they come to the hui in Auckland, they already know what's going to happen in the uh, two-hour hui uh, court, right. court case. So the right. sooner the sooner we get it done, it can it can happen in only about 20 minutes. We go down to yeah. the, we go down to the high court, take a, one one copy there. We take a copy to the dist, uh, Auckland district court and to the police. And to the police. Yeah, and to the police, and then we go to the lawyer's office and drop one to him to recover it. That's right. To to you type Troy where everything is. Oh, oh, yeah. We'll all go there. Then he'll see us on real. Um, that's and, in uh, that's in uh, that's up uh, in uh, in the immediate future, eh, hey, you know. That's good. Yeah, no we'll, we'll, we'll all storm those places. <laughs> yeah, no no, we're gonna take the notice. I'll get yeah. the copies the copies of the writ warrant. Yeah. So that they have to stand out of the way. And then yeah. the Utah Troy lawyer will send his debt collectors yeah. in to seize the property for me. Because he said he was going to do it if I paid him. So uh, as, as long as he's got the notices, uh, we, we just oh, oh, figure out a way of paying him. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what stopped me from doing anything. Because he's got uh, debt collectors here and he's the lawyer for the Pacific Islands and uh, uh, this other company in Australia. Uh, uh, he, he's an agent for them for the international side, yeah. and he's got his own practice, but he's got all the documents there, and they're, and, they're in, and they're in the High Court in London from him, and he signed them, and he signed John Key to go and get arrested. Uh, 
Yes, it's all there. It's all there. So we just need to bowl up there. Yeah. I, I think we just bowl. I won't make a point. We just bowl up there. Yeah. And, and just go and stand there. And and as long as I take a video of us there, they're yeah, delivering it. If he's there, he's there. If he's not, that's how I was doing it. I was just bowling in his office and bowling in Charles Hirschfeld's office. I didn't make any appointments. I don't make any appointments at the bank or anybody. I just go there. Yeah, they know me because that's what I used to do in the past, just go and straight in the bank. And uh, I'm just on reputation. But because they're holding all the information, they're holding all the information there. So it's his deck collectors that'll go in. Mm. We don't go we don't go there and make a scene of it, no, not on not on Cook Street. Yeah, take take the document. So that the sooner we go from two o'clock to, to when the offices close at five o'clock, we got all afternoon to deal with somebody can drop us off, or yes. just hop in a on, up in a taxi and drop us off. Yeah, well, we don't need to say anything. Just yeah, the, know, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Just stand there, video yeah. taking the notice to the lawyer. Right. He'll get it, and then it'll go from there. So long as I video it, it's on it's on the record there. Sure. That's 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 how I always I always done that all along, but it's it's fixed, you know. It's, it's fixed in time. I even videoed the, the lawyer in the office uh, 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 and, and his, uh, his signature, you know, all that sort of thing. But uh, we, we get our, just between me and you, we get our side right. Um, yeah. And that's more important than the whole lot of them put together. That's right. Yeah. Right. yeah. That, that, uh, that shirt's bit with, with uh, Rafta and Tiki Tiki, because uh, right. he's got right. all that side uh, sorted out because the Minister of family. The, the car is the family, they've got all the church books over there, and his, his house, uh, yeah, for the, for the yeah, St. Yeah. St. St. Mary's Church. Uh, yeah. So we've got that one sorted, and, um, and uh, um, um, who else? No, just me, you and him on the birth certificate and, uh, and uh, Moriori. There's nobody else in the Moriori can talk for, for this because it was a contract between Mohi Manukau and, and, the, Free right. and the Freemasons. Yeah, nothing to do with nothing to do with the Manukau family. They they can't go into it. They don't know, and Iru didn't know either. He, 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 that's why he don't know anything. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> boy, he only gave it to me. He gave me all his signature and everything. Yes. Yeah, because he trusted me, not his family, not his, not his family. So they can't come and interfere. Uh, but uh, as long as as long as we, I think as long as we're there to prompt them on. Um, on their Maori government is still under the, the Queen and, and, right. and they've yeah. got to go in that court uh, and they can't just storm an oven and use 1834 um, because it's a war flag. It, yeah. it, it's, it's a beast that's causing all the wars to make, yeah. to make money and that's what it was used for in the first place. Well, it wasn't supposed to when King William had it, it was when the Queen got it, Queen Victoria got it. Oh, well, I, I was, yeah, no, the Frost Tiles married into the family. Yeah. And then took it over, took the bank over, yeah. took the pound over, uh, note over, took everything off the Queen. Yeah, and then the Queen Elizabeth had to follow suit. But that third party, you see, like I keep on telling the third party, anybody, anybody using those, those, those documents with the, with the word Mary on is, is, is caught up. <laughs> they get a, they get a trillion pound if they stay there and hurry up. They, we'll give, them, we'll give them a little bit of time to hurry up and jump over this side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to make an exemption clause for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, just. Huh? Yeah. Think about it on Thursday. Yeah, see if you can. Yeah, no, I'll come on Thursday. No, I haven't booked my ticket yet. I'll, I'll book it. I'll book oh, it and I will come up for that reason to make them clear cut of the hui in Auckland uh, and the court hearing that, that how, we then, how, we, how, how they are placed in it because of being separate government. A, a, a Commonwealth government to deal with the with the Britain. That's the only way to get on top of all everything here. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No. Oh, oh, that's good. Now, now you pick me up. That's good because we'll just do the same thing again. Same time. It, it always comes up at the same time. Eleven. It got it got there a little bit late. Eleven ten or eleven fifteen. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. So we'll we'll deal with that. And it's seven days from today to the twenty first. And so I'll lock the, another document to that, and all these documents you've always been signed, I've got to pull them out and make a make a, make your file for you, with the acts of King William the Fourth in with that uh, file for the magistrate. 
I'll, I'll do that before the court hearing. See, I've got to do that yet. Uh, see, you, you, yeah, you, uh, you're supposed to have that on you, and Danny's getting them some information, not a private one, the head of you fellows getting everything. I'm, I'm going to have to tell him not to, not to take anything from here. <laughs> because he'll suddenly, eh? Yeah. Because he'll... Yeah. Okay then, well, 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 we'll see you on a Thursday. I'll get my tickets ordered now while it's cheap. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's money. Just to make things clear that we have a divide here of powers, a separation of powers between the original native, uh, um, Hongiheka and uh, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. The difference between those chiefs is this Hongiheka wanted muskets. He wanted only warfare and cleaning up all the natives in this country and putting them under his control. On the other hand, he didn't want uh, to have anything to do with learning paperwork and all the tedious jobs of. Uh, titles and transfers because he didn't, he didn't have that in his psyche. He just had conquering king style or conquering native chief style over others to subject them to his control. So uh, on, on the other side, um, Paramount Chief Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau put all his effort in his intelligence to uh, learn English and to learn land transfer titles uh, to save this country for one thing from being taken. It was going to get taken by the British or the French anyway. So he had no choice but to sign a contract or make a contract in the magistrate court in uh, Edinburgh uh, with uh, one uh, li Lieutenant, um, um, Lieutenant William Simons. Uh, and so that was in 1820 thereabouts. Uh, between there and 1828, uh, period to 1830. Well, 1830, King William IV came in. So he was under King George IV, uh, jurisdiction of Admiralty Magistrate Courts. And so he uh, put that together, fashioned it to sell this land to the King, King George IV. Just for a bit, I'll just get now framed to Darrell Payne and in uh, California. Um, be with you. Daryl Payne in California. He's given me all the information as an agent for us uh, when we get official. Um, not just yet, we'll get past the stage of Cook Street and the court hearing in Auckland first and then he'll be contracted uh, to deal with the My Crown Power note there and the debt le levy instrument or debtor instruments over the people there that are causing all the problems. So um, just to continue on, um, um, now we have um, um, the Chief Tira Waikato Wharehere Here Manukau uh, in a private contract, a ma um, um, Admiralty and Magistrate Courts are private uh, contracts um, and nobody's business as third parties to interfere or tamper with any documents or any um, link between us, the native um, successors to his inheritance of those two partnership contract um, for any um, derived revenue from the King's Bench um, Court, Magistrate Court, King's Bench Court. Uh, so um, <clears throat> now we have live, live um, uh, Paramount Chief uh, from Tiruwaikato. Here, here in Manukau, 
to uh, Manahi, Mohini, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini. Those three names, um, Manakau, uh, Parapara, and Mohini, are old names, oldest names here from Reku Island, um, uh, uh, Chatham Islands, that's the same, but Reku uh, Island is its country, that's the country uh, where these Moriori's uh, resided, as settled. They settled there and in Manukau, there to Manukau here. Um, uh, names, the names came from there. Waitangi came from there to here, and he could only came from there to here. To live. he could only up north. He could only on our land blocks at east coast, and he could only down uh, towards Shannon, go that way. So we have the names that went from Chatham Islands to here, not from here to there. The Maoris changed it from here to there. That's wrong. That history has been fabricated to cover up the Moriori history. It's still there and we still have live Moriori's, not many but enough to say so. So um, <coughs> that's what I'm saying to Manahi. He's, he is um, directly connected to the Freemasons. I make this statement on this video as cited evidence, fact, that the Freemasons have their information with me intact with Mohi Manakao, 50 years in the Freemasons and uh, uh, so I'm keeping his promise that uh, I look after all his information for him, not for his family, for him. Because he had a contract with the Freemasons to zip his mouth up. And I have taken it and let you people know, you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you, that that's how it works. But we are changing the phase into a new world order. And the new world order is right with these kings I've just been promoting. Uh, the four kings, um, um, uh, Dutchmen, um, and their um, their inheritance or um, accumulated wealth uh, with us as their partners, uh, the, the king's partner. So everything I'm recovering uh, is a creditor bank, uh, my powerhouse bank, on behalf of the Dutch kings, King William III and King William IV and uh, the King Solomon's Mines, and also um, uh, William the Conqueror. All that bloodline to King William III and King William IV, and that bloodline. Uh, mostly Dutch, uh, German, French uh, uh, lines, uh, but I'm saying this. The documents matter on whose names are on it, and whatever its purpose was, what came under Admiralty law of the sea uh, and onto the land. The, this flag here is on the land, dry land. That's the only king's flag that's ever existed in the monarchy, standing with the ship of Admiralty, the British ship, on our land at Waitangi. We're seizing that land, uh, Waitangi, and we're seizing Titi lands. They've been all mixed up with all, all, all the titles on the land has been bastardised and changed around by this mischief crown in Wellington. They're going to get the bill, or they already got the bill, inside the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. The Navy, our partner, legal, legitimate partner in a legacy of continuity of sovereignty uh, to King William IV, King William III, and our own sovereignty, the Maui, uh, native, Tahitian, Cook Island, Moriori. Uh, side of Pacific Islands um, as partner. Okay, so I'm saying this this way. <coughs> I want to say this because I keep jumping from saying what percentage does the entities or the uh, creditors, uh, uh, claimants in the 70% of the population of New Zealand get? I didn't think I didn't give a, a straight answer because I went off the track a, a little bit. So I'll tell them when I go back up there, but I'll say on this video uh, and cite it as being the percentages of 100% of the 70% of each of every 250 countries in the world, 70% of those people is on the side as creditors under the King's Moai Crown Trust. This side is the Queen, the debtor Rothschild Banks and Church and State, Vatican uh, um, City, um, City of London, Bank of England, 
uh, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Washington DC, the United States of America, US Federal State Government, and also IMF and UN, NATO, uh, EU Parliament. It was all on their side, the debtors and the fraud, corrupt business. <coughs> this is 30% of the population of the world as a whole, debtors, and 30% of each of 250 countries, including New Zealand. 30% of the population of New Zealand get the bill. If you're operating under a Queen's head, Queen's trust, Queen in right of, Queen seal, Queen head on its courts, police and government, cabinet, you get the bill. All of your families, each and every one, is a trillion pounds on your head. So there's <coughs> 30% is 30% of a trillion on each one's head. That's not the land, that's just those people. They're living there. And on this side, the credit of 70% is pulling off that side, off that 30%. So that's the only way to split them off. That the, the crooked ones here and the clean, mortgage-free, debt-free people here. Okay, we've got a few in the trust already and uh, on its shares. So this is how it goes. Cook Street. A hundred percent of the recovered amount of 2.5 billion, thereabouts, the inventory of the assets, the land, the buildings, the business, the banks, the overseas investments, everything attached to the owner, the commercial operators and occupiers of that leased land at uh, 1 bar 61 Cook Street, or now the title is 77 Cook Street, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, Simon Brent Roundtree, they're the debtors on the side that's got that bill. That's just them too. Then you got all the 43 other people who tampered with my contract with those two, and the police libel, the 15,000 police altogether, I put 15,000 police that, and the ones that are recruiting into the police force. That's the figure. 15,000, 15,000 million. 15,000 trillion. Okay? And that, that's it. 15,000 of you have got a bounty on your head. And it's automatic. Straight out of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note of the Queen and the Rothschild banks. And the Church of State and all the rest of the pirates. <coughs> on that side. On that side. So now we have a <coughs> hundred percent of one block of land recovered, 2.5 billion split, and this is the percentages from a hundred percent creditor recovery of debt, 10 percent roughly. These are figures. These these are just plucked out figures. 10 percent goes to. I'll write it down so I won't do this. 10 percent goes to the navy, our partner our partner in Britain, Navy, First Lord of Sea, okay, that's our first partner. The military, okay, the Navy, military, 10% of that amount. And then 10% goes to Westminster, owner, for the use of the flag and, and the government to <coughs> administer our, our contract between these two, these three Paramount Chiefs here, myself, the fourth Paramount Chief, four Paramount Chiefs and um, first Lord of Sea, Sir Philip Jones, uh, there the Navy, so he, he takes care of the military to protect us. That's what they're coming and pick, take us there. Well, that's 10%. 10% of Westminster for administration and for our government, our, our dual government, Maui Crown, um, um, British Westminster government. 10% right, there. 10% goes to the Whakaminia, the Whakaminia, oh, I'll just write down. 10% to Westminster, 10% to, oh, 10% to Westminster, 10% to Navy, 10% to Whakaminia, 10% to our business in Auckland, I, Crown, I, <clears throat> That's one, two, three, four. Ten percent to insurance for all our members, membership and vehicle travelling and all that sort of thing. <coughs> Homes, everything. Ten percent insurance. 
insurance and 10% to <coughs> families, uh, families and kids to recover all the kids and all that, uh, children, children and families. Families, that money goes straight to them and that's one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, that's 60%, see? Now, we've got 40% left, okay? Now we've got 10% to the Navy first, that's our legal, legitimate, commercial, contract, private, contract, business partners, okay? And that's 10% split. 10% to Westminster Parliament for administration of our dual government, the Moai, <coughs> King William Party, that's a political party there with our business uh, of the Moai Crown, Moai, Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company, registered already in London, so it takes care of that, and our government here, the Moai Powerhouse, uh, the Moai, um, um, the Moai, British Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay, so that's that one, 10 percent. 10 percent for the Whakaminia, for their government, they're, 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 they're a government themselves, and, oh, that's right, the, the Whakaminia is uh, the native, Native commercial landowners. Native commercial landowners. Commercial landowners. 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 Okay? And you've got 10% the Maui Crown. That's the, the business of the Maui Crown. Um, and 10% for insurance for all our members and for equipment and all of that. The travelling, the house, the home. And uh, uh, that's that. And 10% for children and families. That's, that's education, goes into to education. And the, the, the welfare, welfare, welfare. This is for every New Zealander. This is not just for natives, this is for everyone. That, come, that comes under the Maui crown. Okay? Um, and uh, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60% okay, of 100% of a 2.5 billion recovery debt. Now we've got 40% left over of the 2.5 billion, okay? The British government on our tidal energy, the Maui powerhouse, the Maui tidal energy turbine for baking hydrogen, for, for manufacture of hydrogen in the sea, is a 30% tax write-off. That means we claim 30%, so you add that on to the 40%, and that becomes 70% for our goodwill. Okay? So now we're back up to 70% on tax um, recovery. Of We have to pay tax to the British government. <coughs> and I put that I put that in Westminster. So that's, that's tied up in the Westminster government. It takes 10% out of that lot. So now we have 70% of the money, of 70% of... 2.5 billion, which is roughly, hang on, I'll just split this figure out um, while I'm on, on, on line with you so that you've got an idea. Uh, calculator, here's the calculator. Right, um, I'll say 70% of 2.5. Oh. Is the percent there? Is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One point seven five billion. Yeah, we're sending one point seven five billion to the company. Okay, out of two point five. So two point five expenses. Billion expenses and uh, 1.75 billion profit. That's how that's how the figures stack up. So out of the 1.75 billion, we split it into projects straight off. We spend the whole lot. That's for wages, contracts to uh, the uh, um, Maui Crown Police Force, 
So we can buy this police force out, straight out, just like that, and take, take it off, off the New Zealand government and to work for us. We can buy the Navy off them and pay their wages better than what they're getting now. Okay, this is what we're doing with this one block, 1.75 billion. We're going to have to dish out somewhere and pay their wages. Okay, and so now you can see how one piece of land works right through the whole world under this flag why I'm so passionate about this flag and the kings, the right kings, how it's supposed to go back to the people. So then we split 1.75 billion into more bits to disperse. <clears throat> the royalties, out of that the royalties come for my crown, royalties, and the royalties comes out for Moriori to build their tribe back up and their island, get their island back of, of Rekuhu get it back off those other people who, who are fascinated. Everything that's done, we see the whole lot. We just change the leaders and put in the leaders we want. And that's how it works. All the Maori stuff, I'm afraid, to get on your walk and go back to Timor Nui Akiwa, out in the ocean somewhere and find our island somewhere. <coughs> you might have to pre-book Moo Island or come out of the water and join all those islands up soon. Uh, and then you've got... Um, we split that up into projects. The tidal turbine will get the most out of that, 1.75 billion. <clears throat> At least 1 billion will go straight onto the turbines in the world, right through the world. And the first turbine will be up there in Scotland. And I want to put, put it right in the middle of all the other turbines. It only takes up little space. And, and it, it does away 150 by 50 meter by 100 meter deep platform with the turbine blades on it will replace uh, will replace two uh, hang on uh, let me see 500 megawatts divided 500 megawatts 250 windmills bigger big two 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 uh, megawatt windmills well at most I'll say one they're only 1.2 megawatts those windmills so it'll replace 500 windmills that's taking up so many acres of land just one shot and cost nothing because we'll pay it straight off against the debtor. Okay? Everything we'll debt against it pays for another one and another one and another one. And the hydrogen planes. The Skylon, uh, Skylon British aircraft hydrogen passenger plane, three hundred passengers, gets from here to England four hours. Flat. Okay? Well, that's our top priority of this tidal turbine and this funding going and that all goes back to the shareholders. So out of this dividend comes to the shareholders. If we've got <coughs> one billion shareholders in each country, we use the same billion for each of 250 countries, and that's 25 billion already on one country. 25 billion each. We just shift the 25 billion over all the other countries from those who join us. So out of, uh, out of the 70% um, of the shareholders, We've got to give this 750 million away. We've got to give 750 million away to 70% of the population of New Zealand. Now, who wants to be on this side? Who wants to be on this side? No tax, tax on this side, the Queen, the King. No tax, it's taken out of this, this profit. The tax is already out of it, the 1.75 billion. So, 7.5, Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven hundred and fifty million is tax-free. The tax has already gone out of it. Ten percent in the in the tax. Okay. Um, so, oh, hang on. <coughs> hang on. That's expenses. This is profit. So, ten, even if we took ten percent off this, <coughs> that's still um, uh, even if we took ten percent. No, we, we've already taken the tax out of it. We, we've already calculated the tax. This, this is profit. That's tax-free. Okay, so 750 million in 70% of the people of New Zealand and 70% of the world as well. Okay, so we just traded right through the world. But there's nobody in, in shareholders yet. There's only a sprinkling over the world at the moment. They'll, they'll get a shareholding out of this straight into their mobile phone, straight in each week. They'll get a dividend straight out. Tax free in a mobile phone through tag pay.
France company. Okay, so that's how it works. That's what it is. If you see this uh, video, uh, then you know that we are uh, going in that fashion, and it's simple as, and there's no elite people in here. They're all on this side, helping themselves and dropping nothing to all the poor people. All the poor people jump on this side. And that's how it's going to go. We'll collect them all up and give them a mobile phone each. And the phone number is your title to the inheritance that we collect. The recovered funds from these crooked debtors on this side. The Crown Corporation under the Queen and the Rothschild. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye for now. See you later. Today is uh, Thursday the 14th of September 2014. And we're sending a seven day notice to John Key and all the rest of the thugs. Um, by the 21st of, uh, uh, which is a Thursday, 21st of uh, September 2017, in Hokianga, we'll be making a ruling there before it comes to Auckland. Okay? With the Paramount Okay, bye for now.